Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz continues. Welcome back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. Happy you're with us on this busy night of week one high school football. I've got an update real quick. I'm going to stop here. Harmony Grove, we didn't have the score a minute ago. Yep. Harmony Grove beats Junction City 20-14. to 14. That snapped a 24 home game winning streak for Junction City. So That's pretty impressive right there. Yeah, Getting so the monkey off the back. That's yep. how he said. 20, 24 straight games. Junction City had one at home. Not tonight. You got Wascom though. I do have Wascom. Very exciting stuff. So here we go, Wascom Garrison. Busy, busy night for the Wildcats. All Wildcats early. Cole Watson dropping back, delivers a dime to Paxton Keeling. Little Pop is feeling proud. It's already the second score of the night, 13 0. Ensuing Garrison possession. Butterfingers, great candy bar, awful everything else. Carter Watson hops on it, <laughs> wasting no time now. Cole Watson. Decides to get an aerial view up and in. It's 19 to 0. 26 to nothing, though, at the end of the first. Waskin fans are happy. They go on to win tonight, taking care of Garrison. New Boston taking on New Diana tonight. Pick it up, first quarter, already 6 0. Lions with the lead, getting it done with the defense as well. Trenton Morris Hill getting the sack, jarring the ball loose. Cade Fant recovers. Lions. In business, New Boston using that turnover to create points. Four plays later, Malachi Dorsey finding an opening and then finding the end zone. Two-point conversion was no good. That made it 12-0 Lions. Second quarter now, New Boston driving again, but Keelan easily getting into the backfield. The tackle for loss stalls the Lions drive, but it didn't matter. Next possession, Kevon Thompson punches it in. And it is all New Boston tonight. They go on to win big, 42-7 the final. Tim, let's move it over to Beckville. Joaquin taking on Beckville on that beautiful turf. You see the giant be there. Coin toss, Beckville wins. They elect to receive second quarter. Ryan Harris connecting with his receiver, Jacoby Williams, making a couple guys miss, gets tackled right across the first down marker. This game initially supposed to be at Joaquin. They uh, moved it today. Ryan Harris to Williams again, again, Harris, look at this, running out of bounds. That's a happy, that's a happy cat right there. Someone dialed up a touchdown pass. Beckville taking the lead 6-0, to zero, going into halftime, but Joaquin, they end up winning 8-6 to six over the Bearcats. Liberty Ilo taking on Henderson. This game at home tonight, pick it up first quarter. This is DeCameron Walker for Henderson. Busting off the run, breaking tackles before finally being brought down. Uh, Keelan Watson on the tackle there for Liberty Ilo, providing that big hit. And then here's another play with Henderson's DeCameron Walker running down the field, but he is thrown down He's again. He's taking some damage, Steve. He's getting right back up, though. And then a little bit later. He's going to have a nice little fumble here. Bad snap. Henderson gets it back. Quarterback looking for something. Broken play. He turned a big loss. That's just how they drew it up, Tim. To a nice little gain. That made, it was still 7-6. Henderson at that point. Henderson, though, goes on to win easily tonight in that game. Gladewater taking on Gilmer right out of the gates. Gladewater coming out strong. Quarterback Colin Lewis. Throws the ball to DJ Allen. No one will catch him. My goodness, the man has got some speed. It's seven to nothing. Gladewater. Here we go. Brandon Tennyson handing the ball off to Jerron Choice, pushing his way through. Tying this game seven to seven in the first quarter. Gilmer, they're gonna have another shot at a touchdown here. See the fans, they're excited. People wearing some masks. It's good to see. They're trying to punch it in. The ball, though, on the ground. Gladewater's going to recover. Rajon Johnson there just waiting for it to hop on. That doesn't stop Gilmer. Here we go. Mason Hurt going for a long run. Going to be pushed out of bounds there. This was a great game all night long. Don't know what the score is there. There we go. Bears, excuse me, Buckeyes over Bears, 55 to 40. A lot of points in that one. One of the better games of the night, Wesley. Center taking on Tatum. At Tatum, pick it up third quarter. This is center's Kiamandre Horace breaking a long run on the first play of the third quarter. He takes it all the way to the house. That tied the game at 28. 
Later in the third quarter, Tatum with an answer. Ty Hollins straight up the gut into the end zone. That made it 35-28. Later in the quarter, still third quarter. Lots of third quarter scoring in this one. Jamal Moore takes the short pass, and he's going to take it all the way to the end zone. He's in for the score. This game tied at 35. Later in the quarter, Kendrick Malone dumps a pass to DeCarrier. Allison, who dives to the pylon, putting Tatum ahead 42-35. And this one, a thriller late. Tatum coming away with a one-point victory, 63-62 to 62 points. A lot of points. A lot points of points in that one. That was were the, game, the premium there. That was the game to be at tonight, it looked like. Well, well yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a thriller like that in week what, one. What is that, 125 points? That's a lot of points. Don't ask me to do math, though. Okay, I, that's I think not, I'm right. I, I talk get the, for a get the calculator keep the, out here. Keep the numbers away from me. We'll be back with some more games after the break. Stick with us. It's the Southern Quality Forge Friday Night Blitz.